Hello, welcome to Maths with J. When we've got a right angled triangle and we're given two sides, we know we could find the third side if we use Pythagoras, but in this question we don't need to find the third side, so Pythagoras is not appropriate here. When an angle is involved in a right angled triangle, we want to use trigonometry. So that means we are expecting to use either sine, cosine or tangent. So I guess you know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So what we do first of all with the triangle is write down which side is which, starting with the hypotenuse, and that's the longest one, opposite the right angle. Then the side touching the angle that we're interested in is the adjacent side, so that's A, and the side not touching the angle is the opposite side. So then we decide which of the trig ratios we want to use by seeing which two sides are involved. So we've got the adjacent side and we've got the opposite side. So we're looking at using the tan. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we know that the tangent of the angle, so it's angle A in this case, is equal to the opposite, which is 5, over 8. So we want to find the angle, so A is the angle whose tangent is 5 over 8. And then we just key that into our calculator. So we want the inverse tangent to start with, so that means we need shift tan. And we've already got an open bracket. Let's use the fraction key. And now we just key in the 5. Use the arrow down key to go to the denominator. And then we want 8. And the arrow to the right. And close the bracket. So that looks exactly like what we've written. The inverse tangent of 5 eighths, the angle whose tangent is 5 eighths, and then we do equals, and there's our angle. And we want the answer to three significant figures. So that's going to be 32.0 degrees. And we just check that that's a sensible answer. So we can see that angle A is opposite 5, which is shorter than 8, so we would expect that angle to be smaller than angle C. Angle B is 90 degrees, so that means that angle C is going to be 90 minus angle A, so that's 90 minus 32, so we can see that that would be the bigger angle of the two. So angle A has turned out to be the smallest angle in the triangle as we would expect.